Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. You are watching Hannah Davis Golf, and thank you so much for joining me. Now, you may be wondering why, why on earth I am sat here with a golf club. Now, the reason is I have woke up this morning. It is freezing. There's snow, there's ice. It's minus four. So there's no chance I'm going down to the driving range to practice. So I thought, hey, why not now show you guys a few drills that you can do inside making yourself very comfortable? Where were we? So I thought if you're stuck inside over the festive period, if the weather is awful, I'm going to show you guys a few drills you can do inside without hitting any golf balls that will improve your golf swing. Right. Let's start with the first one. So the first drill to improve your golf game at home is for everybody that comes over the top in their golf swing. And first up, all you need is a club and a pair of socks. So firstly, this isn't actually used for the drill. It's just to put over the club head to protect your walls. So the club of choice for me, I've just got my wedge in my hand just because I'm in the snug and the roof is really low. So maybe go for like a between a wedge and a seven iron would be ideal. To set up to the wall, I don't want you to stand flush to the wall. I want you to have your feet about 30 centimetres away from it. So we're measuring from here to here. Okay, guys, first up. So once you're in your setup position, what I want you to do, I want you to take the club up to the top of your backswing without banging the wall too early. We don't want the club whizzing inside. I don't want any insurance claims going through. So we're going up to the top of the backswing here. Place the club head on the wall at the top of your backswing. Now, the drill here, what I want you to feel is, I want you to feel like you take the club, dragging the club head along the wall here. Don't let the club head leave the wall until you get your hands to hip height. So for those of you that hit slices or pulls, the club would be coming off the wall really quickly in your downswing. Once your hands are at hip height, what I want you to try and sort of just check and look at then is that your knuckles are pointing down towards the floor. So what this is going to do is also going to just make sure that that club face is square. Stand away from the wall. But if your knuckles are down towards the floor, you're going to have more of a neutral club face here instead of when the knuckles are pointing more this way. So we're going checkpoint. The knuckles should be down towards the floor instead of doing this. You'll see the difference in the club head. So down towards the floor, knuckles not down towards the floor. So I would do this quite a few times, just nice and slowly. We're not looking for any speed or anything. It's just a bit of feel and a direction of where that golf club could go. Now, if you're a person like me that would want to know the next section, is all I would do from here, once checking my knuckles, I would keep my sort of club there and then just turn your body through to impact. Maybe just do a few of these sort of drag down, pull down movements. Once you've done that and you're sort of a bit more confident with the position, once you're then here, you can then just turn your chest towards the target nice and slowly, bringing the club down to impact. Okay, guys, so the sock drill. This is brilliant to give you the feel of how to shallow the golf club whilst keeping that club face neutral. So all of this is going to help you create sort of a feel for more of a draw pattern in your golf swing. So the second drill happens to be one of my favourite indoor drills, as well as Rory McIlroy. So that obviously can't be bad. And it is the famous split-handed drill. So this drill is really simple. It's basically just to give you a feel of where your swing should be at the top of the backswing. The setup for this drill is super easy. All you need to do is take your top hand, place it on the top of the grip and your bottom hand, place it on the top of the shaft. So it's going to look something like this. Once you're in that position, 
turn the club out to the side so it runs parallel to your toe line and then for a checkpoint your arm should hang down about shoulder width apart so again the next stage is super simple all you need to do is turn your body to take the club to the top of the backswing and it gets your right arm into a perfect position so once you're in this position all i want you to do is slide the right hand down the grip to meet your other hand and then you can see here a your hand should feel wider and also the right arm should be 90 degrees or more so just do a few of these swings just from the bottom up to the top so you can really feel how the right arm should work on the backswing. Once you're ready for the downswing, all you need to do is pull the club down back into the position that you started. So the reason why Rory loves this drill, once he gets into the top of the backswing, it sets his right arm perfectly. Back down on the downswing, it feels like he gets the right arm back down in front of his body so it doesn't feel stuck or trapped behind him and then he feels like he can't hit those big high blocks and then flipping it to hit those snappy hooks. So this drill is fantastic for getting your body turning, getting your right arm into the perfect position at the top without it collapsing and then it gives you a brilliant feel of getting that club back down to where it should be at impact position. Okay, final drill and this one is so, so good for lower body movement and sort of feeling how you should transition into the golf ball. You don't need a golf club for this drill, it's literally just all feels. So first of all, Let's find a door and then I want you to set up to it with your bum against it and take your seven iron posture. All I want you to do, I want you to take your arms, cross them over and touch your shoulders. Once you're then back into your um, posture, on the back swing, I want you to turn the shoulders and I want you to just feel like the right glute just puts a little bit of pressure onto the door. You can just feel it just creaking. I don't really want to be pushing it away with any force. And then on the downswing, first of all, do a few slow ones. As you start to transition through, I want you to feel like your weight is moving into your left heel and you're pushing your left glute back to push the door away from you. Now, if you do that a few times quite slowly, just so you can get the feel at first and then speed things up. Up to the top of the backswing, a little bit of pressure in the right glute. And then I'm going to think of transferring my weight into my left heel and then pushing the door away with my left glute. Is it going to shut? Oh. And up to the top and then weight into the left side, pushing the door away. Yes, I got a door closed. So if you're really struggling with the feel this, with this one, you just start small. Start with the feeling of just like a tiny movement like you were just with chipping. So you're going against to begin. And then you're going right glute, just touch. Left one, just to move away. And then just slowly build it up. So you're going into more of a pitching swing like this and then you can work it up to your full swing so right glute just touching the door left glute weight moving into the left heel full rotation going through so that drill is fantastic because you don't even need a golf club with that when you can literally practice it anywhere anywhere with the door not only is this drill really good for getting the transition it is fantastic for those people with early extension a loss of posture into the golf ball. So if you see this movement as your hips move towards the golf ball, it's really good for that as well because it sets you in all the right angles. So there we have it. I want you to go and practice those three indoor drills to improve your golf swing. There are many more, so watch out for the next episode. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like my video, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell if you never want to miss a video. And I will see you all very soon.